Easy Steps to Convert Decimals to Fractions, a Comparison Guide. Hello, dear learners. Today, we're going to dive into the fascinating world of numbers once again. Our focus will be on a very important topic, converting decimals to fractions for comparison. This will help us better understand and compare different values, so let's jump right in. Decimals and fractions are two ways of expressing the same value. They are like two sides of the same coin. Fractions are numbers that express a part of a whole, represented as a numerator, the top part, and a denominator, the bottom part. Decimals, on the other hand, are a way of writing fractions in a format that is easy to understand and calculate. For example, the fraction 1 half can be written as the decimal 0.5. The process of converting decimals to fractions is straightforward. The position of the number after the decimal point determines the denominator. Let's illustrate this with some examples. 0.1. Here, the number 1 is in the tenths place. So the equivalent fraction is 1 tenth. 0.01. Here, the number 1 is in the hundredths place, so the equivalent fraction is 1 one hundredth. 0.75. Here, the number 75 is in the hundredths place, so the equivalent fraction is 75 one hundredths, which can be simplified to 3 quarters. Remember, the key is to simplify the fraction if possible. With your newfound knowledge of converting decimals to fractions, you can now compare different values easily. Just convert all numbers to fractions, or decimals, then see which one is larger, or smaller. For example, to compare 0.2 and 1 quarter, convert 0.2 to a fraction, 2 tenths or simplified to 1 fifth, and then compare 1 fifth and 1 quarter. In this case, one quarter is larger. And that's a wrap. I hope you found this video on converting decimals to fractions for comparison helpful. Keep practicing these conversions, and you'll soon become a pro at comparing fractions and decimals. Remember, understanding numbers is the key to mastering many other areas of math and everyday life. See you next time.